You shouldn't give credit to someone and then take it away. He installed solar panels to try to save money and then help the environment, but then Duke Energy overcharged him for electricity. We are investigating these issues, coming up with some lessons learned. This mistake impacts more than a third of Duke's South Carolina solar customers who pay monthly minimum bills. The power company only admitted to the misstep after WCNC Charlotte asked, where's the money? It took your help to get something done. I thank you very much. Our Nate Morabito discovered Duke Energy is now pledging to do a better job communicating with its customers in the future. You can't tell from the street, but solar panels largely power this Lake Wiley home and help Doug Wolf. This is a, uh, a power wall, Tesla power wall. It's a battery for the house. Store the electricity he captures. I have solar panels, I have a battery, I have a Tesla, I recycle, I want to help. He's confident his efforts will pay off in many ways over time. But in the short term, Wolf says he's losing faith in Duke Energy. It's hard to trust him at this point. Not just because of billing errors, but also the way in which the utility responded when he raised questions. I don't have words for how I feel about the, the, the walls that Duke Energy has put up between them and their customers. Duke Energy solar customers who don't use that much electricity are billed a minimum monthly charge of $30. But if they produce more energy than they use, the company's own policy requires them to subtract that credit from the minimum charge. For a few months there, the math just didn't add up. Wolf discovered the issue earlier this year, which is tied to bills from 2023. But when Wolf repeatedly called Duke Energy, they just kept saying everything's right, you know, not a problem. He says the utility repeatedly dismissed his concerns. It was completely frustrating. So he asked for our help. We are here to help our customers. It's unfortunate that this customer had this experience and we apologize for that. And we certainly have some opportunities to improve. Duke Energy spokesperson Megan Miles told us the utility identified and fixed the error, which impacted about 800 customers in all, long before Wolf noticed it and made sure to adjust future bills accordingly, but never delivered that message to customers. Shouldn't it be standard operating policy that if you find a mistake to communicate that mistake when it happens to the customer? Yes, yeah, certainly. The goal is for our bills to be accurate and to avoid confusion whenever possible. Miles says Duke Energy routinely runs verification tests on bills for accuracy. Understanding solar rates are complicated. In fact, the utility recently identified another error that impacts an even smaller number of its South Carolina solar customers. Those people will likely receive a small credit and clear communication. We are reaching out to those customers who were impacted by that. An area for improvement moving forward. I'm happy that they finally admitted to their mistakes. After weeks of keeping Doug Wolf in the dark, I'm kind of upset that it took this much effort to get them to do it. Duke Energy has since talked to him directly and overcompensated his account for his trouble. Important steps in restoring the trust. Check your bills every month. Of a skeptical customer. Nate Morabito, WCNC Charlotte. While the numbers are expected to grow in the future, it is important to note here just a fraction of Duke Energy's millions of customers relying on this specific minimum billing process. So there are roughly 2,500 in both Carolinas, according to the company, that no. is. We've said this before, too, and we'll say it again. Your tips and ideas help us do what we do. It was a viewer tip that really had us getting um, out there and asking questions. And now we have not only answers from Duke Energy, but really a promise of real change going forward. Yeah, so what can our Where's the Money team do for you? If you have something they should look into, don't hesitate to reach out. You can send an email to money at WCNC.com or reach out to us on our social media platforms.